Hi, I'm Greg here from Greg's Restorations, showing you our latest build, this 1985 Toyota Extra Cab pickup from Louisiana for the Campbell family. 1985 Toyota SR5 Extended Cab 4x4 pickup. This truck is pretty much how you would buy this truck right from the factory in 1985. That's what we were trying to go for. Minus wheels and tires, small suspension lift, and the rear Smittybilt bumper. My favorite part about this truck was, was putting the factory Toyota decals back on it. It's such an eye catcher. From the first day I saw this truck, I could picture the image when it was done. RE engine, 2.4 liter fuel injection, first year fuel injection option offered in this truck. 5 speed manual transmission, last year solid axle option, interior was restored by John at Inside Out Customs. Tuffy security console with hidden modern stereo. He kept the vintage AM FM factory radio in the dash for a clean look. The Campbell family has owned this truck since new. It has 286,000 miles on it currently, and they couldn't get rid of it just because their family grew up in it. It's just it's part of their family. This vehicle has been sitting for the past at least 10 years underneath a tree in his backyard and his kids kept saying, Dad, you gotta do something with this truck. Dad, you gotta do something with this truck. Gerald found, did some research on the computer and found we have our, our website and based on our, our previous Toyota restorations, he thought it would be a you know, good fit for us. He's based out of Louisiana. I mean, we're up here in you know central Massachusetts, but you know he trailed it all. He rented a U-Haul trailer and brought it up here and took us about a year to restore it. First thing we did was, you know, brought the truck in, did kind of like a mechanical evaluation on it, see if it would run, see what was broken, kind of do a parts list on it. And then Jeremy spent some time last year, November 2016, he, he started, um, took the bed off and jacked it up outside and just pressure washed, just degreased, started the project from there. Then we brought it in and started disassembling the cab, taking out all the taking apart the doors, taking out the glass, taking out the interior, sending the interior up to John at Inside Out Customs, removed the cab, removed the engine, sent the engine out to 22RE Performance in California. They have done a few 22RE engine rebuilds and they're one of the best in the country. Then we did the bodywork on the bed, bodywork on the cab. <laughs> for paint, painted the frame, did suspension, rebuilt the axles, rebuilt the transmission. A lot of parts research, because they don't. there's not a very big parts aftermarket source for these. Just figuring out what the vehicle needs in the first place is, is really challenging. Pair it apart and you don't pay attention while you're doing it, you're gonna miss a lot of things because you're basically uncovering the whole history of the vehicle. The customer had owned it since new, so we knew all of the history. It was broken, would not run, he parked it, and that was it, until it came here. Body repairs that had been done in the past, but we at least knew about most of them. We found some along the way. Had we not known, it would have really thrown us for a loop. Luckily, this truck had not been modified much, and just about all of its factory components were still there, still in good shape, and were able to be replaced or rebuilt or refinished. After getting the truck back together and up and running, another interesting portion of the restoration process in itself, you're faced with problems that the vehicle may or may not have had when it was last running. Once we had it all up and running, there were a few, uh, a few issues that I had to diagnose, and some of these issues can be caused by sitting for that long. Some of them may have been pre-existing that uh, he just could have forgotten about. Issues don't always present themselves as simple as this is broken. Sometimes it's, it's much deeper than that. I even had to look into old trouble service bulletins from the early 90s to address things that this 
truck never saw at the dealership. Time just kind of skipped over those things because I don't think he had many problems with the truck. He just used it and, and maintained it the, you know, the best that he could. These are also vehicles that have already lived their whole life on the road, but now it's starting over. Just, you know, it's retirement, I, I guess you could call it. It takes so long to restore because it's an art um, and it needs to be done correctly. Also, a lot of our, cu our customers and clients are, you know, halfway across the United States. So um, when it leaves here, it doesn't come back. It needs to be 100% perfect. Here today, we're at the Cortex Farm in Hardwick, Massachusetts, doing our, um, one of our photo shoots. And we're teamed up with Vintage Motorsports out of Holden, Mass. He's brought a couple Tri-Z Yamaha three-wheelers. And we're um, trying to re recreate a 1980s Toyota ad. This is how they exactly would be using the truck in 1985. They bought this brand new. You'd have your toy of the year. And this truck could fit in almost any scenario you could put it in. City life or you know, country living, whatever you'd want. The Back to the Future truck kind of set us on the map for these 80s Toyota builds just because it's the holy grail Toyota. These are an icon truck really due to Marty McFly and Back to the Future. That was every kid's dream in 85. A lift kit and tires, KC lights. Check out that 4x4. Four four. That is hot. Okay, back her up. Someday, Jennifer. From last I remember, I was probably around four years old and I was just, you know, laying on the rug watching TV and just you know, yelling at my father, Dad, check out that 4x4. Four four. My dad's reaction, he, he also had a Toyota pickup at the time too. He had a, I believe it was an 86 single cab truck. So I've always been into these Toyotas my whole life. Before I even knew that I would be doing these, these trucks. Kind of an underlying fate. like and love these trucks just because of the durability. These trucks actually like built Toyota's name for their durability, longevity. They rusted out up in like New England, sawed out through the whole world just because they just, they don't die. They even did an episode on Top Gear about these trucks because of like how durable and how you just can't kill them. They drove through a building, let it roll in the ocean, set it on fire, like they just couldn't kill the truck all the tests that it, it went through. A lot of people have these trucks built because they were, you know, they wanted this truck brand new in high school and they either couldn't afford it. Now they can. They can have one of these restored for like an heirloom to their past, you know, relive their youth. The truck was shipped off and delivered to Gerald and Suzanne in Louisiana. A few weeks later, Greg and Jeremy paid them a surprise visit to go over the restoration with them in person. Long ago, we sent the truck back down to Gerald and Susan. Uh, we're down here. We're gonna uh, give them a surprise visit. If you're looking to have one of these trucks built or restored, we have a few of these 85 Toyota pickups in stock, ready to be built. They're a one year only truck. This is the last year solid axle in the front end with first year fuel injection 22RE versus the old carburetor setup. Both are very good, but this is a one year only truck. It's like super rare. I'm actually really excited to see this truck go because um, Daryl and Suzanne have been amazing through this whole build and gave, given us the time and the patience to let us bring this truck back to life. A lot of customers are impatient nowadays because you can just go on Amazon and have something at your door in two days, but you can't rush projects like this. Stay tuned for our next video on the 1985 Toyota Back to the Future truck restoration.